good morning students so today we are going to discuss about the special organelles found in plant cell called as plastids so plastids are the special organelles found only in plant cells it is called as the kitchen of the cell and plastids are of three types that is chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast so generally chloroplast are called as the plastids so let us see the structure of the chloroplast so chloroplast can be seen as a green in color and it has the two membranes the outer membrane and the inner membrane so outer membrane is there outer membrane and the inner membrane and inside the inner membrane we have the spaces that is called stroma and in stroma we have the thylakoids which are placed one over the other and in this thylakoid we have the chromo we have the chlorophyll which give the green color and also helps in photosynthesis and when these thylakoids are arranged one over the other then it is called as granum so generally this chloroplast has two main parts that is number one stroma and number two granum so stroma is a space in which granums are filled and granum consists of thylakoids which contains the chlorophyll molecules now come to the next page there are three types of plastids number one is chloroplast which contains the chlorophyll green pigment that absorbs sunlight in photosynthesis it produces and store glucose also chromoplast it contains the carotenoids that is the red orange and yellow pigments and it is found in flowers and fruit leucoplast it contains no pigment and it is used to store starch so chloroplast and the chromoplast have the pigments whereas leucoplast does not have any pigment it only stores starch now come to the next page that is page number 116 plastids in plants plants plastids are very important organelles as they serve as the mean of classification of cells into plants and animals that is all cells that contain plastids are classified as plant cells so plastid identify the plant cells from the animal cells there are three types of plastid present in plants that is number 1 chloroplast number 2 chromoplast and number 3 leucoplast chloroplast are the green pigment present in chloro green pigment is present in chloroplast they help the green plants to produce food from inorganic raw materials so these are often referred as the food factory of the cell why due to the presence of chlorophyll so green pigment is present in chloroplast which is called as chlorophyll and chromoplast contain the pigment with colors other than green that is the red orange yellow so the flowers and the fruit gets their color due to the chromoplast and the leucoplast these plastids do not contain any pigment and that's why they help in the storage of food in the plant body see here the chloroplast found in a leaves how it looks like green and when we see this structure the chloroplast in microscope then it looks like this that is the outer membrane and the inner membrane outer membrane and the inner membrane and stroma in that is the stroma and the thylakoid thylakoid when arrange one over the other it is called as granum so stroma and grana are the two main parts found in chloroplast and in thylakoid we have the chlorophyll molecules so that is about the plastid now come to the cells in human being so cells in humans human being are considered as the most complex of organism alive with highest degree of organization the tissues in the human body make up an elaborate organ system that works harmoniously at all times the cells of human body gets modified into various shapes sizes and forms to suit different needs some striking variations of cells in the human body are number 1 RBC or red blood cells number 1 is RBC or red blood cells that is also called the corpuscles the red blood cells are unique as they do not have a nucleus so RBC does not have nucleus and they are of biconvex shape these helps in accommodating more hemoglobin if since nucleus is not not present so so much space is there 
which is occupied by hemoglobin and hemoglobin helps in transporting maximum oxygen to the tissues of the body next we have the nerve cells the longest cell found in the nervous system the cells of the nervous tissue called neuron so underline this line the cells of the nervous system is called the neurons have numerous long projection these projection helps the neuron receive and transport signal throughout the body then we have the sperm the male reproductive cells having a long tail structures attached to them that help them to move very fast the sperm are the male reproductive cell or gametes ovum the egg cells or ova the female reproductive cell or gamete female gamete on the other hand are big visible to the naked eye and static static means it is not capable of moving of having the active movement so only sperm can move not the ovum next we have the wbc or white blood cells white blood cells corpuscles behave like and underline this line because it also changes its shape just like an amoeba so they are capable of changing the shape and thus ingest a pathogen that is the organism that causes disease uh, to fight infection that's why they are called as a soldier so they helps to fight infection so wbc are not fiction safe they just behave like an amoeba then we have the muscle cells these are elongated cells with many nuclei so they are specialized cells that can contract and expand thus helping in movement so these are the different types of cells now come to the next page we can see the different uh, pictures of the red blood cells we have the nerve cells then we have the sperm cells and this is the bone cell this one is this one is ovum then we have the muscle cells bone cells my ovum and muscle cells are spindle in shape so you can see the different uh, shape of the cells that is the red blood cells that is spherical in shape or oval in shape nerve cells elongated long sperm cells with tails bone cells then we have the ovum the round and the muscle cells spindle shape so that was the different types of the different shapes of the cells so key terms are given that is the cell membrane outer covering bounding all cells cell wall extra covering over the cell membrane in plants protoplasm that is all living part of the cell that contain the cytoplasm plus nucleus nucleus prominent structure within the cells often called the brain of the cell consisting of outer nuclear membrane and inner nucleoplasm in inside the nucleoplasm they have the nucleolus and the nucle nuclear reticulum that is chromatin chromosomes distinct thread like structures containing genes present in the nucleus prokaryotic the cells that lacks a membrane bound nucleus mitochondria and eukaryotic that have the nucleus and other organelles plastid is a special organelles found in plant cells that give its the color recall the first cell was discovered by robert hooke in 1665 the cell theory was given by scleden and skewan in 1831 cells consist of the cell membrane and the protoplasm the protoplasm is again divided into cytoplasm and the cell organelles cells can be either be eukaryotic or prokaryotic the nucleus is called as the brain of the cell it consists of several parts such as the nuclear membrane nucleoplasm nuclear reticulum and nucleolus so that's all chapter is completed